Hi, my name is Ryan Verrett, and I'm a product manager at National Instruments for our NI Flex Rio product line. And today, I want to show you a demo where we implement a software-defined radio with LabVIEW FPGA on our PXI platform. So, if we take a look at the hardware we have here, first we have a USB webcam, which is cabled to our Windows-based host controller. Uh, we're grabbing data off the webcam at about 10 frames per second and 320 by 240 pixels uh, with 32 bits per pixel. So this is raw incoming digital data. Uh, we then send that data to one of two FPGA devices. The first is the PXI Express 5641R Rio IF transceiver, which is basically a LabVIEW programmable FPGA coupled to high-speed, high-resolution analog inputs and outputs, which are targeted at intermediate frequency applications. We also have an NI Flex Rio FPGA module with a baseband transceiver adapter module connected to the front of it. So we send this raw di digital data to one of these two devices. Um, then on the FPGA, we actually modulate that digital data, uh, send it through a switch, which allows us to choose one or the other, and then over to our up converter here which takes in the intermediate frequency signal and then now is up converting it to 440 megahertz for transmission on our antenna here. Um, we transmit that data over our communications channel to our receiving antenna uh, to a down converter where we down convert it to an intermediate frequency signal and then again go through the switch to select either the IF transceiver or the baseband transceiver adapter module. Uh, we then digitize that data and do demodulation on the FPGA and display our image here on our host application. Now if we take a look at this application, uh, we can either choose between the 5641R Rio IF transceiver or the baseband transceiver adapter module. You see our signal goes away for a second on the transmit side and on the receive side. Uh, but the important point is that we can transmit and receive from either device to either device. Now, uh, a few details about the signal that we're transmitting. Uh, we're actually using a differential 8 PSK modulation scheme at 12.5 megasymbols per second. Uh, so we're occupying about 20 megahertz of RF bandwidth. Now, to show you that it's actually transmitting, uh, we can remove our antenna here. And we see our signal goes away. We put our antenna back on. Reset our device and we get our signal back. So one final difference between our two approaches here uh, is that on the IF transceiver adapter module, we actually have integrated digital up converters and down converters in the DAX and ADCs of the module um, versus the baseband transceiver adapter module approach where we don't have those digital up and down, up and down converters and we actually implement that on the FPGA. Other than that, the code on each of the FPGAs is identical, which is one of the benefits of programming in LabVIEW FPGA. Uh, now that's all I have for the demo here. Again, uh, we've implemented a software-defined radio communication system in LabVIEW FPGA on our PXI platform here. Thank you very much.